so so today in this session we will discuss the advanced sweep surface command so let us see example of the same uh, i have opened one part to see the different types of the sweep so before going to the sweep surface command uh, initially uh, we have to go to the this is the modeling environment now so we have to go to the shape and generative shape design to get the command of the sweep so i will select here the generative shape design so that all the surface commands are to be visible in the toolbar now under this toolbars here is one surface toolbar is there if you are not having this surface toolbar right click here and please check that the surface toolbar is check on so by check on the surface command here is you will get this bar and here is the sweep command so when i select the sweep command see here so here are the uh, under the sweep surface definition there are four types of the profile types are available so one is the explicit second one is the line third one is the circle and fourth one is the conic so let us see one by one so first we will see the explicit so under the profile type there are some sub types are also available so here are three sub types are available with reference surface with two guide curves and with pulling direction so first we will see the with reference surface command so here with reference surface command uh, we have to select one profile and one guide curve and the surface so initially i will select the profile so here i will select the profile so guide curve i will select one guide curve and if you are having any surface then you can select the surface now at this moment i will select one plane as the xy plane as my surface along which with reference to that surface i have i have to prepare the sweep so here i will select this surface so uh, here under this explicit or any sweep surface command some uh, here the profile guide curve and surfaces these options are available so firstly we are seeing this now with reference surface here defines the sweep with one guide curve and reference surface and for two guide curves it defines a sweep with two guide curves and third one is the pulling direction where it defines a sweep with one guide curve and a reference surface and here the reference surface is a plane now what are the other things here the first one is the angle so here uh, in this angle it defines an angle between the reference surface and the profile as it is swept along the guide curve and here is the law option is available under this angle if we select on the law here there are four types are available constant linear s type and advance now if i select s type and i will give the start value as my 1 and the end value as now 0.001 so like s y curve is created that's why the law definition is s type so likewise there are four types so now at this moment i will close this the law now the third one is the uh, spine now see here here the spine option is available so here default guide curve is selected as my spine so uh, the spine enables you to define the orientation of the profile as it sweeps along the guide and katya keeps the profile normal to the spine curve at all times uh, now if we you do not define a spine then the first guide curve is taken as the spine now see here the first guide curve which we have selected is taken as a spine here so under the spine there is relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 options are available so what are these so these are the uh, these specify the first and last elements that uh, limits the spine the limitation of the spine is defined by these two parameters then the smooth sweeping option is available so this smooth sweeping option shows the uh, swept surface between these continuities so it will smooth the uh, surface uh, where these continuities are there so here the one option is available with angular correction and another is the deviation from guide 
so angular correction defines the angular tolerance between the spine tangencies uh, below which cutia creates a smooth surface and the deviation from guide it uh, defines the deviation from the guide string so that cutia creates a smooth surface so these parameters we can define by using as per our requirement we can deviate our uh, degrees angular correction to smoothen this or maybe deviation from guide or both so here one another parameter is there for positioning parameters so it allows you to define the position of the profile so if position profile is not active katia uses the curves at their current position so now we see one by one now we have selected with reference surface we have selected the profile and we have selected the guide curve so if i preview this see here so here one sweep surface is created by using the profile curve and guide curve like this so click on okay and you will here it will create the surface now i hide one and i will go to the now we will see with two guide curves here we have to give the profile and two guide curves so here i will select this with my profile and this is guide curve one and this is the guide curve two if we see in the preview see here the my sweep is here with by using the profile and two guide curves so this is my sweep with two guide curves and the third one option is available here is with pulling direction so here it is asking for the profile so i will select the profile guide curve with this and here if you are having the direction axis or maybe you can select the plane along which direction you have to pull your surface so i will select your xy plane and i will select you see here so here the options are available to change the direction so that it will change the direction of our sweep now once again we will go to the sweep surface definition and the second uh, option in the profile type is line so here in the line there are options are available the first is the two limits now here it is asking for the guide curve one i will select this is my guide curve and this is my second guide curve and if i preview see here by using the line command of the swept surface definition we can create the linear surfaces like this by using the two surfaces and here you can maintain your length by adding the dimensions here like this and now this dimension is not okay here so i will keep here 10 only see here so the length of the surface so behind this curves how to maintain this is to be limited from this length 1 and length 2 so here uh, when i selected the 10 or 20 it is not taking because of the profile of this curves which guide curves we have selected it is not taken the higher limits so click okay so this is my surface created now the second option here available is limit and middle so here limit means guide curve here we have to select the first guide curve and the middle of that surface curve which want is now i have select here the mid curve as a guide curve too so here is the mid curve now by selecting the mid curve as this curve now we will select you see here the surface is created where the profile of the middle of this surface is along the guide curve too so likewise we can create the limit and middle by using the guide curve and the middle curve now the third one option is available with reference surface now i have created one reference surface here so i will select here guide curve one so here i will select guide curve and reference surface as like this 
and if we see preview now see here I will select the length as 20, 20 ok so here the arrow shows that in these directions you can create the surface so if I select this direction and preview see here so here we have given the 30 degree angle that's why the four arrows are giving in the four quadrants by using the 30 angle if I select 45 degree and preview see here so along 45 degree surface is created with the reference of this surface so the next option is with reference curve so I have one guide curve and reference curve so I will select this is my reference curve so here also four arrows are showing by using the 30 degree angle and here I will give see here so by using the guide curve and by using the this is my reference curve at an angle of 30 degree we have swept the surface like this then the next one is with tangency surface so for tangency surface we will see the another example uh, now see here I will select the tangency surface option from this so here guide curve it is asking for so here I will select this green line as my guide curve 1 and the tangent is surf tangent surface I will select this and I will preview that see here the one swept surface is created by using the, this line as my guide curve and tangent to this surface is to be created now the next option available is with draft direction so see here I have selected this is my guide curve and I have to give the draft direction so here I have created one line along this direction or along this draft direction I have to create my swept surfaces so here I will select this and here I can give the angle also by so it will deviate the angle along this direction of the draft direction so if I click on preview see here so it is the draft direction 30 degree angle is to be created along this draft direction so click on ok now the next option available is with two tangency surfaces so here I will select this as my spine and here I have to select first tangency surface and second tangency surface so here I will select this is my one surface and this, this is my second surface so if I preview this see here so here the surface is created swept surface is created which are all tangent to this both surfaces and the profile of this is by using this guide spine so this is the width to tangency surfaces now the third profile type is circle so for that I will open the another part so here I have created some surface and curves so here I will select the third option and here are some subtypes are available that are three guides so here I will select first one is three guides so first guide curve one this second one is my this and third one is my this if I preview this see here one swept surface is created with the reference of these two guides so limits of this sweep that is start plane and a uh, end plane are depend on the shape of these curves so here the limit for the minimum limit for this curve is this so this is the swept surface is created along these three guide curves so we, there are two there is another option two guides and radius so here I will select two guides and radius so here guide curve so I will select this is my guide curve 1 and this is my guide curve 2 and here I have to define the radius for the same so here I will define the 20 mm radius if I preview now see here so here the surface is created by using these two guide curves and radius of this 
surface is 20 mm so here are some options are available or solutions are available see here the solutions so here six solutions are available with this command so if we go to the next see here the orange colored indicates that surface is to be created by using this swept command so if we next so whichever the surface we required we have to go there next 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 and click ok now see here this surface is created by using the radius and two guide curves now the third option is center and two angles so here the center curve it is asking for center curve so here i will select this is my center curve and this is my reference curve and i will select preview so this by along this center this curve is to be rotated along this circle so here i can maintain my angle now this is 40 and i will click here 50 see here so i can maintain my surface limits by using these angles 1 and 2 then center uh, two guides and tangency surfaces so here asking for limit curve with tangency and one is tangency surface so here i will select this is my curve as well and i want tangency surface is this and limit curve is my this so here i will select sorry two guides and tangency surface so here i will select this is my tangency surface tangency curve this is my tangency surface and limit curve is my this one so see here so here are some solutions are available two solutions if i select next i want this equal so this surface is created with this tangent and this is my limit curve now here one guide and tangency surface is also available so here i will select guide curve is like this and tangency surface is this and if i select view see here the options are available so i will select next so i want this surface as my swept surface click okay so this is the surface created then limit curve and tangency surface so here i will select limit curve is this one and tangency surface is this one and i will select three c here so so angle of this curve we can maintain from this angle 1 and angle 2 so click on okay so it is tangent to this and the curve is created so these are the all the options are available under this circle command now the fourth one is the conic one so for conic we will open the one sweep conic so here is i have created some geometry for lines points and surfaces so we will see here is the conic so here are four options are available two guide curves three guide curves four guide curves and five guide curves so here first i will select two guide curves so it is asking for first guide curve one so here i will select this is my guide curve and he, here it is asking for the tangency to which tangency it is required so i will select this is my surface of tangency so he, it is asking for last guide curve next so if this is my last one and tangency i want is this so if i preview see here so surface is created in the shape of conic so click okay now the next option available is three guide curves so here i will select guide curve one i will select this is my guide curve and this is my tangency surface here asking for guide curve two so here i will select this is my guide curve two and here asking for guide curve three so i will select this is my guide curve three so i have four guide curves i will select this is my guide curve one this is tangency surface this is second one this is third one and last guide curve is this okay so likewise conic shape swept surfaces we can create by using the 
coding service. So likewise, five guide curves option is also available. So we can select uh, here five guide curves, and here is guide curve one, two, three, four, and five. Now see here. Here the options are not available for tangency because here we are giving the five curves, so it is not uh, asking for the tangenty sur surfaces because it is not uh, the the surface is not created along with this five curves with the tangent curve. So software will not create this uh, all the user inputs. So that's why it is not asking for the tangency surfaces. So if I create this and click on OK, see here. So here, conic shape surfaces to be created. So by using the sweep surfaces, uh, here are the we have seen today the four types. That is explicit, the line, circle, and conic, and the internal options for the each one. So by using this, we can create the any type of the surfaces with the swept surfaces. Wherever you required in the automobile or anything industries, so here we have covered the swept surface command. So in I get it content library, there is advanced surface course is also available. So please tune on this and thank you for attending this session. Be in touch with I get it for new sessions and training material. So thank you. If you have any doubts, uh, please you can free to ask me.